you might say a person appears to be a sociopath, a psychopath, that they have narcissistic personality disorder. You might say you detect depression, bipolar. You might say that they have a borderline disorder. You may claim they're histrionic. But what kind of personality claims can you make about a person when you're not an expert, you don't have enough data, and therefore your results are going to be based on your bias? Typically, what people do is they look at some of the traits, and if they're a critic, very often the worst traits, they see what fits, and if that's being a narcissist, they'll say a person is a narcissist. If that's being histrionic, they'll say they're being histrionic. And it's not representative of their full character. It's representative of parts of their character. Their full character is something very different. You can pick out certain characteristics and you can say that it suits a particular condition, a particular mental disorder. If this amateur psychoanalysis is based on a internet persona, then what kind of evidence do you really have of the real world person and their state of mind? If you could analyse a person correctly through their video content to get a full image of their supposed psychological makeup, you would need to have honest videos, obviously, and a great many of them, so you can actually analyse them, the things that they talk about, very personal things, nothing held back, to truly get an impression of who they are. Genuine psychoanalysis can take a very long time, with a fully trained professional analysing a person across many sessions, trying to work out what might be wrong with them. And indeed, even in those cases, there are many cases of misdiagnosis, where people are told they have a certain condition, a certain state of mind, a certain personality disorder. And the actuality is, it's nothing of the kind. 